Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than 10 years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feeling like you're missing out on all the guitar playing fun, you can easily get started with my super simple Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. Now, on to today's tip. This podcast is brought to you in part by Gator. Whether you just need a bag to gig with on the weekends or a frequent flyer needing a flight-friendly TSA series case or a dedicated road warrior bringing your instruments on tour, Gator has a solution for you. For the stuff you love, guard it with Gator. Today's tip is the newest guitars and gadgets at NAMM. The annual NAM show, the National Association of Music Merchants, was held last week. Music industry professionals converged on the Anaheim Convention Center in Southern California for the four-day event, which featured the latest and greatest instruments, technology, and some amazing performances. I've attended the show for the past 15 years as a proud member of NAM, and for me, well, I feel like a kid in a candy store. In this week's episode, I'll talk about some of the new and featured guitars, accessories, and technology, and more that I saw at this year's NAM show. As always, I love to give a shout out to my listeners around the world. So this week, hello and thank you to those of you listening in the United Kingdom, Israel, Antigua and Barbuda, and Nigeria. As I mentioned earlier, the NAM show is a four-day event with more than 3,000 companies exhibiting their innovative ideas and products. It's both an exhilarating and exhausting experience. There are many wonderful new guitars and gadgets at the show. In fact, too many to name them all. But here's a few notables I thought you'd like to hear about. Of course, NAM wouldn't be NAM without stopping by to visit our friends and this show's sponsor, Gator. They premiered their Someone Somewhere collection, and I absolutely loved these cases. They are a collaboration between Gator and the climate-certified sustainable company Someone Somewhere. They are high-quality bags made using sustainable, friendly production methods. They're manufactured in Mexico by artisans using handcrafted techniques like wooden weaving looms using cotton thread, nearly half of which is recycled. You can choose from three colors and several guitar shaped sizes. This new collection is part of Gator's mission to guard your gear while being better stewards of the planet and people. While visiting the Martin Guitar Booth, I saw the newest addition to their custom playable art, the D. Robert Getzel 7. It's a guitar made of East Indian rosewood sides and back and a hand-painted spruce top. This guitar's stunning koi pond design impresses with its vibrant blue, white, and orange hues. It's a magnificent, one-of-a-kind guitar brought to life by resident artist Robert Getzel. It's the high-quality playability you would expect from Martin Guitar as well as a spectacular piece of art. At the Positive Grid booth, the makers of the Spark Mini Amps that I shared with you last year, they were showcasing their newest innovation, the Spark Link. 
It's a wireless guitar system, so you don't need to use cables. It's a sleek design and has a 70-foot range. They let me test it, and I loved it. It takes just a few seconds to set up. Simply plug in the receiver into the Spark Mini Amp and the transmitter into your guitar cable plug. Turn them on, they sync up, and voila! The tone of my guitar was fantastic, and it was fun to walk several feet away without a guitar cable and still get a vibrant sound. At the Music Nomad booth, I saw a couple of new and exciting products. Music Nomad is a music instrument care company producing innovative products for guitar maintenance, repair, and care. Their new fret maintenance and adjustment system is fantastic. It includes everything you need to care for the frets and fret bars. And the new Tunit Lubricant is genius. It's designed for use in the nut grooves, saddle, and bridge to help your strings stay in tune. In the capo realm, I stopped by my friend's booths at G7 Capos and Kaiser Capos. At G7, they featured their new spring-loaded capos. And at Kaiser, they debuted their updated camouflage and new patriotic designs. Along the lines of the cool and unusual things that I saw was the Ernie Ball Strings unique guitar string vending machine. In the boutique guitar section of the show, I saw a unique custom nine-string guitar made with reclaimed wood from Jimi Hendrix's childhood home. I also saw Prince's custom piano at the Yamaha booth. Yes, I know this last one is not a guitar, but heck, a piano is in the string family. And let's face it, seeing the custom-made purple piano that Prince played was just plain old awesome. As for artist sightings, I saw Lawrence Juber, the guitarist for Paul McCartney's band Wings, country artist Hunter Hayes, Lindsey Sterling, Debbie Gibson, Susanna Huffs of the Bangles, Don Felder of the Eagles, and I heard that Stevie Wonder was at the show, but I didn't see him. I have seen him at many past shows, though, because he attends NAM every year. And hey, if you attended NAM, please let me know in the comments section. I'd love to hear about what you saw and experienced. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast, and as I like to say, play on.